Hello, Ben Mankiewicz with you on TCM, where we're about to wrap up our month-long look at royalty in the movies. Tonight, we've focused on fictional kings, queens, dukes, earls, duchesses, countesses. Can't forget the counts and countesses. Up next, we go back nearly a century for a lighthearted musical comedy from one of the first filmmakers looked upon as a true artist, even outside Hollywood, Ernst Lubitsch. Released by Paramount in 1929, Lubitsch directs The Love Parade. Lubitsch's flair for urbane, elegant, and often suggestive films led to a shorthand way of describing them. His movies had the Lubitsch touch. Love Parade is a prime example of the style that made the director so highly regarded. The story is set in the fictional country of Sylvania, known around the world for exporting light bulbs and sensibly priced electronics. Sylvania's queen is played by Jeanette MacDonald, making her screen debut. The queen is sharp-tongued, She's sassy and she's unmarried. That circumstance has raised concern among her cabinet ministers. Enter the dashing Count Alfred, played by Maurice Chevalier. As the Queen's emissary to France, the Count has built up quite a reputation as a ladies Count. The Love Parade was the first sound film directed by Ernst Lubitsch in 1929. Recording sound was no easy task, especially if a director attempted anything beyond having the actors placed on a set like potted plants. Lubitsch takes things a step beyond what audiences expected at the time, and the film earned a nomination for the first ever Best Sound Oscar. Overall, picked up six nominations, including Outstanding Production, that was Best Picture, Best Director for Lubitsch, and Best Actor for Chevalier, who was also nominated for his performance in The Big Pond. Paramount also produced a French-language version of The Love Parade, titled Parade d'Amour, with Chevalier and MacDonald reshooting a handful of scenes speaking French. From Paramount in 1929, The Love Parade. The Love Parade won over audiences and critics, picking up six Academy Award nominations. Director Ernst Lubitsch produced another hit, his first with sound, and provided star-making turns for Jeanette MacDonald and Maurice Chevalier. While it was MacDonald's first picture, Chevalier already had two decades of show business under his belt. During the 1920s, Chevalier had been a cabaret star in France, toured the U.S., and he met with George Gershwin and Irving Berlin. But Hollywood didn't hold much appeal to the singer until the advent of sound. The Love Parade was only his second American film, and he nearly passed on it. He had envisioned himself playing unassuming everyman-type roles, but his thick, exotic French accent oozed sophistication and class to Hollywood. Chevalier and MacDonald paired up in three more films for Ernst Lubitsch, The Smiling Lieutenant from 1931, One Hour with You from 32, as well as The Merry Widow, released in 1934. Coming up, a young heir to the throne finds that royal responsibilities complicate his love life. From 1954, The Student Prince, starring Anne Blythe, is next on Turner Classic Movies. <music>